Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> this is my name. This is my golf course. Uh, I'm a golf course manager at Berhem Golf Course, um, located southwest in Norway. Uh, it's, a, it's a golf course that uh, we said that when we build it, it's, it's going to go back to basic. Uh, you can see the, how the terrain is heaped up to molds and, uh, and uh, yeah. A bit of myself. I started 40 years ago, and when we started uh, doing golf in, in Norway, there was eight, uh, when I was starting doing uh, greenkeeping, there was eight golf courses in Norway. Uh, where we were doing uh, sand dressing by hand, we were doing uh, the hollow coin by hand. Maybe that's why I have a little bit strong arms. Uh, it was in the Stone Age, so it's crazy for me to stand here talking about uh, technical development on the golf courses. Uh, I can nearly believe it. That's me because I'm very conservative, and also when I when I doing my man management on the on the golf course, I'm also a, a golf course architect. I'm, I'm I'm building that course or draw that course. I'm a golf course constructor, and I'm a general manager in, in my own company, uh, Grassbiz List. But that is not that interesting now. Uh, facts about the golf course. I said I started in two, uh, 1982, there was 20 years down the road to build this golf course. Uh, I've been into, uh, also been in, in, uh, in Cuba, in Envert, doing the, the H&D there. It's a very narrow golf course, it's, it's just 45 hectares. That is favorable when you are going to, to deliver out electricity to a golf course, to, to load stations, uh, to electricity. And, and stuff like that. Uh, there is a lot of rain, 1875 millimeters. It comes in, in, in um, periods. So we can have three months of drought, stress, a dry periods, but we can have heavy, heavy rainfall. Uh, I can say in 2016 until 2017, there was nearly raining <clears throat> 300 days those two years. It started in August and it stopped late 2017. It was, if you compare it to, to the old days, it would be a hunger catastrophe in, in our uh, district. It was just mud all over. Uh, the average temperatures, it's not Spain, but it's still 7.9 degrees. We have 45,000 rounds and that is massive on a golf course up there north. And it's mainly fescue and bent grasses. The brave decision. The brave decision comes uh, up to us in 2016. Uh, there was a drop in golf rounds on the golf course. The economy was dropping dramatically. Uh, we need to say to people that you are losing your job. We need to let two go. It was very depressing, and this was 2016. We need to do something, and I'm luckily one of the owners on the golf course. Part owners, not... Yeah, it's, I, I own a little bit of that golf course and the company that, uh, that run the golf course. So me and my buddy, we sit down, and we spend 20 minutes to come up with a brave solution because there was no one to ask, and, and I said, to go out there with conventional mowers, trying to, to mow that golf course, uh, where you can see the water there, there is sand below there, because we heaped all the, the, the farmland um, peat soil into mounds. Uh, so, so there is sand, so, so, and there is 1,100 outlets on that golf course. So, so, but when there's raining that much, we have problems. Uh, and again, there was 28,000 golf rounds that year. So, and, and normally there was 35 rounds on the golf course, so, so we need to do something. So I said to him, I've heard about robots. Yeah, I've heard about robots as well. My, my, my neighbor have a robot in the garden. Uh, who can we ask? No one to ask, but we, 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 we understand that we need to make a change. The, the, we look at the, the, the budget, the money, everything. So we decided in 20 minutes to go and buy 64 
robotic mowers, or 68 actually. <coughs> we did, we done a little research how, how many square meters every robot could mow. So, but uh, yeah, so, so we go for uh, 68 robots. And this is how it looks like when you want to mow the golf course with electric charged mo uh, robots. We need to dig in with 90 uh, kilometer loop cable and 10 kilometer power cable. And luckily for us, the course was very narrow. So still, even if the, if the, the numbers here are, are quite high, it's 90 kilometers, it's 90 kilometers, and you have to consider as well putting 90 kilometers loop cables in the ground. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna hollow car, you're gonna maybe repair some uh, water system, drainage, or whatever. So we consider that. So, so the 20 minutes decision was to do something different, but then we start to plan how to really do this. We, we need to get this golf course to work. So this is one of the masts. So we, we installed last summer. This is for, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going a little bit back and forward. So, so this is for the, the, the GPS, the EPOS, the, the, those uh, robots who are going to cut the fairways for us. Uh, they are they're going on, on GPS. Uh, and the 68 is going inside the loop cables. So, again, my buddy had just seen a robot in the neighbor garden, and I have seen a robot in the neighbor garden, but I've never seen it like this. And the dealer hasn't either seen it like this. And Husqvarna have ma made those for going in parks or maybe in big gardens and stuff like that, not on the golf course. So we need to talk, you know, we start talking to Husqvarna and... and um, because in the beginning, we, we, we just ran them with a, with a garden app. I will say that it, it, it's like a garden app. It was running them in, 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 in with blind eyes. So we have no control on the robots at all. We would just put, push the button, start, and go. And if there was something wrong with them, maybe there was coming rain, maybe that, that is an outlet, but there was clippings on the, on the, on the wrist, or what do you call it? So, so the water couldn't go, couldn't go down. It drowned, and, and who's going to understand the problem? So we, we start cooperate, and, and, uh, and who's going to uh, find out that we need a, a, a better steering system? So they come up with something that we call the fleet system, so we can now run the whole system by, on the computer or by the phone. That is... My technical guy, David, South African, he's a fantastic guy. He number five in wakeboard in the world. Uh, so he, he is used to have uh, issues. Uh, or so, yeah. He's very good. He's running the, the, the whole golf course there, from there. He also got a camera. A view on the golf course, it's a very open golf course, we have a view so we can see what's going on on the golf course. Yeah. Uh, for, the, for the rest of the, the crew on the golf course, we have just five and a half men working on the golf course. Uh, before they need to sit on the mowers, and, uh, and uh, do the mowing. We have uh, 119 acres of, uh, of um, uh, semi-rough and 40 acres of uh, fairways. So the fairways are very narrow, but still they need to be cut. So we spend a lot of time just mowing. Today we have freed the, the time. We just uh, sp uh, used uh, David half the amount of his work, 20 hours a, uh, a week. He is doing robot things. Every second week, he has one guy with him changing the blades and blow them. But we can do now a lot of other works on the golf course. So we have raised the, the quality on the golf course dramatically, actually. Uh, the water treatment on the course or water management on the course is 
You can't even compare it. We have 45 golf rounds coming into the green, going out of the green. Everybody goes the same way. Before we have tracks on the side of the greens, it wasn't dark or, or it wasn't that it wasn't turf there, but it wasn't good playing surfers. Now it's very good playing surfers. There's no compaction. Um, the water is going through the, 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 the soil again and things start to work actually. Around bunker edges, there was a lot of tracks. I told you that it's a rainy place and it can also be a dry place, so a lot of stress around bunker edges. There is no more tracks around the bunker edges and it, and it, and it healed very quickly. So for us, it, it, yeah, we have no data sheets said uh, how much of that and how much of that. I can just say that um, this is the results of the golf course. Uh, you can see a golf ball there. It's, it's kind of amazing. It, it's, that is bent grass. And, 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 the grass and, and the ball is staying up on the grass. It's not going down in the grass. So when we also, when we do the, um, uh, the conventional mowing, we have white and dark stripes on the golf course. And that was one of our, our signatures, the whole golf course with stripes. Uh, but since the, there is raining a lot and, and, um, and the soil is quite fertile, so we get light and dark stripes here, and, and, and the players don't like the, the dark stripes, they, they, they like the white stripes, but the, the, the good players don't like none of the stripes because it felt unfair, so they couldn't control the ball. Not to say to me they can control the ball and everything on the, on the golf course is similar and fair. Um, yeah, I said that the, the, the was played 28,000 rounds 2016. Now it's 45,000. Less wear and tear all around. The grass is trimming better uh, all around. And we have uh, grinding machines and we have all the equipment so we can, so we can uh, prepare the, the, the cylinder mowers. So we try to run the golf course on a high level. But uh, I can say clearly now that we're never ever going back to, to, to that equipment and again. So we, we will try to be the first golf course in the world to, to get fully automatically and, and, and uh, driven, driven by water and power electricity. Uh, yeah, less soil compaction, less use of chemicals. Uh, every morning when we come to the golf course, it's, it's not dry, but it's way drier than before. The dew is nearly not there. Uh, you can see by the fungus, there is way less. Uh, the grass is very, very much denser, and the top of the grass is very much drier. So we can see by the establishment of the POA, there is, the POA is dropping on the golf course. There is nearly no POA left in areas. There was very much POA before. Uh, we can see it on the, on the amount of, uh, of um, pesticides uh, or herbicides. Uh, we, we used uh, last year 20% of what we, we used six years ago. Uh, we're still using for a little bit of for clover. That is, the, that is the main thing, but very little and only on spots. Now, the whole golf course is f uh, fertilized by hand. Before we used machine tractors, now we're using, uh, going by hand. So we spot fertilize the whole golf course. No fertilizer at all uh, in the summer, of, except from just a few spots where there, where there are uh, sand. <clears throat> uh, yeah. We have some problems with moss in shadow areas on the golf course. That's gone. There is no moss at all. Um, I guess who's grandma can hear that, hear that from, from garden owners as well. If you just put on some fertilizer and let the mower go, the moss is gone. So for us, uh, yeah, has lifted the golf course enorm enormously. The staff is very satisfied. They can now work with, uh, with, um, with, with, with stuff they feel that their skills come, come f comes forward. They, they, they feel professional. Uh, they don't uh, sit on the mower and in rainy days and feel what the heck I'm doing. Uh, yeah, they come to me and say that they're very satisfied, they're happy. Uh, the players, they are very, um, before they get complained 
from the players all the time. There was always something. But now the players is coming. There is a very positive attitude on the golf course. The players throw away more money to us. They are more satisfied. Uh, there is more player coming, throwing money to us. So, so the economy has doubled. So for me and my buddy, sitting on his office six years ago, or yeah, six years ago when we did the decision, we have to do this in, on the arm because it, it's just unbelievable how, how the golf course have, have, have come up. And, and, and again, it, it feels like you, you get a new baby when we started and we, we, we need to do learn it. Because I've, I've doing golf courses 35 years before that with, with conservative conventional uh, equipment. And, 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 and certainly we, we, we did something completely different and, and with, with success, I will say. So this is it, what, what it's all about. Uh, we have changed the equipment and the gray one, that is the, the old one going on loops and the, the orange one is that one going on the fairways. That is the airbus that GPS. So, and these are the equipment they have, uh, we have changed. We still have the equipment, uh, but if you want to buy that left one there, you can get it for 20,000 euros. The old one, he will kill you if you, if you took that away from him. He, he wants to, to keep it. So, yeah. So, we've also been uh, with uh, NIBU, the Norwegian Institute of Bioeconomy Research. Uh, that is uh, the fairway, just a plot on the fairway. So, Karen is watching that we. Every time he's, she says something, we need to put on so she can get a graph on it or something. But uh, the fairway looks very good. We also uh, have <coughs> Bell Robotics on, on the or, 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 uh, ball pickers and, and also mowers on the driving range. Uh, we have also issue with, with those machines. Uh, but again, running a robot park it's not just put a, push a button and, and think this is automatically and this will work. You need to, to help it uh, and, 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 uh, and take it forward and have a good uh, cooperation with, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, Husqvarna for us and, and for Bell Robotics. We need to talk to them. So the investment in Norwegian kroner, uh, the, the, yeah, it was 6.1 million kroner and 610,000 euros. But also, it's, it's, it's important for us as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a partner in the golf industry to, to behave, feel that we behave, and, and uh, said to you guys that we, we, uh, the diesel there, there was 21,000 liters less diesel going through that tank last year. So, and that is matching the, the sustainability goals for yeah. And this is the result, actually. The new house on the left hand side, the red house there with the glasses there. That is the new indoor center. Uh, and the economy, it, it's crazy for us. It, 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 that costs us 1.1 1, 1 .1 million euros. And these little things have paid that for three years for us. So. All in all, it has been a great success, and yeah. So if you want to talk to me about it, I'm still around here a few days, and we can have a chat. Thank you.